When working on a building project, changes are almost always needed to meet client or regulatory requirements. Revit has the ability to track these changes and include revision information on sheets. The first step in the process is to create a revision. On the View ribbon, in the Sheet Composition panel, select Sheet Issues Revisions. This displays the Sheet Issues Revisions dialog. The data here will be assigned to revision clouds and then used to populate a revision schedule on sheets with revisions. In the Numbering column, you can specify the type of numbering for revisions in the project. The options are numeric, alphabetic, or none. This will affect the digit that appears in the revision tags and schedules. Select Numeric. If you select Alphabetic Numbering, you can select options under Alphabetic Sequence in this dialog to enter the letter sequence you wish to use. In the Date column, simply input the issue date of the revision. In the Description field, you can specify a name for the revision, such as Addendum 1. Select Issued once the revision has been made and all sheets with this revision have been submitted. The clouds will then be locked in place, and additional clouds cannot be added to sheets under that revision. This helps you keep track of the modifications. However, Revit will not maintain the legacy of the changes. Only the current work will be in the model. Take note that you must have at least one active revision, in other words, one without issued checked, in order to place revision clouds. You can also input information in the Issued To and Issued By columns to further document the revision. These parameters are used to populate a revision schedule which will be placed on the title block, so be sure to input the data exactly how you wish for it to appear. Also, in the Show column, you can select whether the cloud and tag, just the tag, or nothing will appear for the revision. For example, when you issue a revision, you will more than likely want to display the cloud and tag, but after that, you will just want to show the tag. This parameter can be modified once the revision has been issued. Also in this dialog, pay attention to the numbering section. You can choose to number the sequence per project or per sheet. Per project will number the revisions based on the sequence in this dialog. Per sheet will number the revisions in chronological order based on the revisions that appear on the sheet. For example, if you have four revisions created in the project and you create a cloud on a sheet assigned to the fourth revision, then it will appear as revision number four when the numbering is set to per project. However, if the numbering is set to per sheet, the revision would appear as revision number 1, as long as no other revisions had been placed on the sheet. In order to create a new revision, simply click Add. When multiple revisions have been created, the buttons in the row section become available. You can move a revision up or down in the sequence and merge a revision with the revision above or below. Be aware that you cannot merge a non-issued revision with an issued revision. An issued revision cannot be moved either. If you wish to delete a revision, you can select it and click Delete. This will delete all revision clouds and tags assigned to that revision. When you click Delete, a dialog appears informing you that all the associated clouds and tags will be removed. You can click OK to proceed or cancel to keep the revision. Lastly, 
you can control the arc length of revision clouds in the Sheet Issues Revisions dialog. You may want to try out different values to see what works best for your projects.